Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie and we are going to start this video off by entering Freezy Peak. And so when we get in here, goggles will tell us that there is a new move to learn. But right away we are going to go inside of this igloo to meet three little bears. And this one tells us that his presents are gone and that their dad was fetching them. And that he hasn't come back. So it's like the old I'm going out for a pack of cigarettes deal. Although, I don't know. This is a kid's game. Probably not. Uh, the slope right here requires talent tracks to scale. Uh, and right here is the dead. And he says his stomach hurts and he shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Which, of course, is a Jiggy, but we cannot do anything right now to help him. So we will just continue on our way. So over here to the left, um, in a botch recording attempt, I started this mission, there would be a box of uh, Christmas lights here, and we would have to defeat three monsters who are coming out of these holes. Um until I think 10 of them got to the Christmas tree. Uh, unfortunately, the recording messed up and I had to start over. So, they are not there. But that is what that mission would have done. Um, so now, after defeating this giant ice cube enemy, um, we have this on switch. And if we hit it three times with eggs, it will turn the Christmas tree on and we have 60 seconds to go fly three times through the star and the top of the tree those snowmen you see will attempt to throw snowballs at us to knock us out of the sky there's a good chance they're not going to hit us but on a rare occasion they will so by the time you get to the flight pad you only really have 45 46 seconds left and that's one and if we turn around, we can hopefully get two, and no, I had to fly over it. Yeah, the flying mechanic in this game isn't much better than the swimming one. Um, you can't really descend very easily, um, and you ascend really quickly, so it's a bit challenging, but there are our three flies through the hoop, and we are going to land and then go inside and claim our prize there would also be a mumbo token right here but I already grabbed that too inside there are termites from mumbo's mountain although I don't think they are the same termites and I'm fighting one behind this pole uh... this is one of those presents for the kids and it will tell you that uh, there are notes along this rim, and on the other two rims, which I'm not going to stop at, there are, uh, eggs and red feathers. There's red feathers, and there are the eggs, and here is our jiggy, although I have to jump off to get it. Oh, uh, I forgot how to get up here. Okay. There we go. Oh, but I missed it. Well, I'm sorry, guys. This just makes me look pretty stupid. But there we go. There's the jiggy. And the easiest way to get out of the tree is to not grab onto the pole, Banjo. Yeah. Just like that. Uh, back outside, we are just kind of going to continue around this level sort of clockwise. Um because over here there is the one move that we get to learn in this level and goggles is going to teach us how to do a beak bomb which is an attack while we are flying and it's really hard to control but basically while we're flying we can shoot right at our target and it will do damage to it or do something to it. Um, we will be using it actually quite a bit in this level. And he is going to fill up our energy. 
and tells us that we've learned all the moves. Um, we are going to, after grabbing these few notes, and the ginger that's going to be up here that you guys can't see yet, there he is, we are going to use that beak bomb to rid this level of these snowmen, because they are a pain, and they reveal things when you kill them. So that is the beak bomb. That one left a grunty switch. We'll have to go back for it. That one left a mongmo token. We will also be back for it. There are more over here. And... I missed him. See, that's what happens when you miss. You also usually... Um... Stop flying. Uh, here's the second present. I'll just grab that one. Um, this big snowman in the middle. There are notes and mumbo tokens around its legs that I will grab quickly. I think the talent shot actually gives you better traction. I should be using it because it's also faster. Uh, this big snowman will come into importance when I get rid of these snowmen. Uh, and if we can get to that grunty switch without hurting ourselves, which we can't, it will open an extra panel with a jiggy and a flight pad above the entrance to Freeze Easy Peak. We can't actually get that for a while, so you'll probably forget about it by the time it comes back. Anyway, we are going to go back and try and finish killing all those snowmen. Um, and it's not like I'm wasting time or anything doing so. You do need to kill all of them because they reveal things. All of them do. And if you hit their bodies, you won't take any damage, but you have to hit the X's on their hat. And I missed that time too. So, there's a flight pad over here. We will quickly cover this area. Um, there's notes on that house. The flight pad's up there. I'm going to quick get this Jinjo. I knew he was here somewhere. And then get whatever is on top of this house, which is more notes. And then avoiding the snowman, we are going to go back. As you can see, there are notes underwater there. We cannot get those. The water is too cold. And it's actually a bit more dangerous than piranha water because you can you can't walk through it as much. So after getting up here and grabbing a momo token that is apparently above the flight pad, we are going to kill that snowman who leaves an empty honeycomb, which we will be back for. And then we are going to attempt to kill that one again and fail, although it seemed good to me. Uh, instead of turning around, we're going to go kill this one. Sorry this video isn't that, um, I don't know what the word is, covering? I don't know. We're not really doing much here, but it is kind of important that we kill these guys. They all have things we need. Uh, we are not going to worry about the big snowman yet. I'm going to deal with all of that in one at one time. Same thing with the area down there. So, I'm just going to jump down here and use good landing methods. Uh, anyway, we're going to really try to get these snowmen off the, off the mat before we run out of video here. And in the meantime, we're going to go grab that empty honeycomb, which looks like it's full because there's life on it. Three more and we get a whole nother... Uh, full honeycomb on our life bar and sometimes it is hard to get up to this flight pad I don't know why there we go so two more to go and about a minute and a half to spare in YouTube time limit we're going to get that one who leaves a mumbo token and unfortunately we landed which a waste a fair amount of time but there's only one to go the next video will be much more eventful um, oh come on please get up here 
Wow. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. This... I don't know why this isn't working. Hmm. Oh, well, I can't really do much without getting to this flight pad. We still have about a minute. Hmm. Nope, we're not gonna make it, guys. I don't think we're gonna make it. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I don't know how else I would get up there. Other than the backflip, as it's worked before. Hmm. There we go. But we only have about 20 seconds. Let's see if we can get this. I don't think we can. Uh. And we'll beat Bomb. And we will get him. And that will end the video right here. It reveals a jiggy on top of the statue. I told you guys we had to complete it. Alright, I will see.